why, why are we upstairs? Because we got told to come up here and do some work. Well, Goffey's right there. He's absolutely spot on. Bowling is hard work. It does hurt. But England, as you say, and have a long list of injured cricketers. If I show you, as we showed you up at Lords, there is a whole heap of them that have a load of injuries. And a lot of them are back. Archer back after the elbow. Curran, stress fracture. Fisher, Mahmood, Robinson, Stone, Wokes, Wood and Sam Curran. I just want to ask you, Simon, while we're here, about something that I've never really understood, the mixed action. Mm. I hear that a lot, causing stress fractures. What is a mixed action? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's getting crossed up. I, I guess it's you, your hips and your shoulders in a different direction. That's, that's the key, first and foremost. So counter-rotation is what they talk about a lot when you're talking about bowling and mixed action. So your hips and your, and your shoulders are completely mixed up, so you're counter-rotating. And that is a mixed action. So if I'm thinking about... Hips, shoulders in line. We've got some great examples to look at. Stuart Broad, I think, is a fantastic example for me, where his hips and shoulders and everything are nice in line. He's quite open-chested, and then he gets through his action. Guys that are a little bit more side-on, and these are a little bit open, that's a mixed action. That's what causes a lot of, lot of pressure on the joints, on the back, on the knees, on the feet in particular. So that's kind of what they talk about when you say a mixed action. It's your shoulders and your hips in different positions. So I want to just show you an example of two bowlers, one that's very rarely had back problems, Broad on the right, and Mahmood, who's got a stress fracture at the moment. What are you seeing there? OK, start with Stuart Broad. To me, absolutely brilliant. Hips and shoulders in exactly the same line. They're sort of pointing, if you were thinking about a right-handed batter, they're pointing at around about uh, maybe gully or, or point at the moment, or gully probably. So really nice. With Mahmood, he's actually in a good position there. And you think about the old, lot of old-time real fast bowlers, studs up, everything's all right. But as we roll it through just a little bit, you'll see Mahmood's hips will open up a lot quicker. See there, his hips are open, but his shoulders are still pointing at around about second slip. So his hips are wide open there in that position, and shoulders are sort of still quite there. So he then is he's asking for back trouble. He's asking, because he's putting so much pressure there, but these haven't caught up, he's asking for some back trouble. Stuart Broad, on the other hand, quite sort of open there and open through here. So that front-on style of bowling means that he's not going to really get too many injuries with those. The one thing I will say, though, Stuart Broad's front foot splays quite a lot. Mahmood, quite straight. So Stuart Broad will possibly, if his injury worries have been ankles... Knees, maybe maybe groin region from splaying open a little bit too much. But apart they, they from that, they do end up good. if we run that on. They do end up in a very similar position, yep. don't they? Mahmoud might collapse a little bit more. Yeah. But at the end, it's getting from bowling. Bowling's odd. You run one way, you have to turn and bowl yeah. the other way. Yep. They end up, but it's how they get there. And I guess me mechanically, if we can show now with stickman, we've got Hawkeye to show the mechanics of bowling. This is this shows it a little bit more broad mm. and his hips. And his shoulders. What are you seeing there? What yeah, you've just same said. thing. Exactly there. And then these, when you roll it through, they're not in a bad position. But what you can see is the angle of the spine through here. And basically all that's doing is just putting a little bit of pressure on. But because he's quite chest open and his hips are open, he's going to be OK and he's going to get through that action all right. And when we roll it through to Mahmood's stick, man, we do just see those hips open up a little bit more. Wait for it. And there, the hips will open after this. We just go a bit further. Everything's in line there. It looks nice. Everything's good. And as we roll it through, those hips are already open when the shoulders are still pointing round about second slip. So that's what we're talking about, the counter-rotation, the problems with the back and the stress fractures are coming from that. So what do you do if you see someone that's got a mixed action? Because I used Jimmy Anderson as an example. Mm. Jimmy Anderson was bowling absolutely fine as a youngster, 2003, 2004. I've got some footage of him here on the left. This is Jimmy Anderson on debut. And they reckoned he had a mixed action there. And we're going to show Jimmy Anderson was that today. Yeah. And it's virtually the same action. But what happened to Jimmy Anderson was because they thought he was going to get injured because he had a mixed action, they changed him <laughs> and he got injured. So what do you do with someone that's got a mixed action? Too late. Too late. By the time he's 19, 20, the coaching needs to be done at a very early age, I think. So 14, 15, 16, that's fine. You can change a few things and then you work through it because the more overs you're bowling with that action, the more difficult it becomes to change it. So that, that's the one thing I would have said about Jimmy Anderson. You can tinker with the odd little thing, but don't change it too much because it's too late by then. If your coaches haven't done their job by 14, 15, 16, by the time you get to 19, 20 and you're playing county cricket, 
domestic cricket, international cricket, too late. The other one, I'm going to surprise you. I've not asked you about this. Mark Wood, who's had a whole heap of problems with injury. What are you seeing here? Look at the strain going through that knee and that ankle, the areas that he's had problems with. That is just the way he bowls. Yeah. It's putting a lot of strain on his body. Bowling fast is hard work. Yeah, enormous amount of strain. I mean, he's just wanting to bowl quick. He wants to bowl incredibly fast. So that, that drag, he's got a really long delivery stride. And you see that back foot sort of flips over and it ends up in that sort of position. It's drags through, a bit like the old days, I suppose. But that, that counter-rotation, again, a little bit from Mark Wood. It's stress on the back. Now, that's the biggest issue that's going to be the problem for him coming through. And it's about strength and conditioning. And that, that's going to be the key for, for all of those. That whole list of players, Sam Curran, it was nice to see him back actually bowling and batting. So bowling is hard work. Bowling fast is hard work. I know you've got a great fast bowler down there in Darren Goff. He may be able to tell you a bit more on the physical demands. Well, first things first, those stickmen aren't built for fast bowling. You need a big backside, don't you, from Barnsley to be a fast bowler. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You do need that, and I've got the old Fred Truman. But, um, listen, it, it is very hard, and um, I was conditioned to it. I, I, didn't, I didn't bowl that many overs when I was young because football was always my preferred sport. So I came in quite late. But what I did do over the years is I had a side on action. I was always consistent with that side on action, my hips. And what he talks about, the alignment was always pretty good. I did have a double stress fracture when I was 19, and that's when my workload started to go up. And then I never struggled with that again, so I was very fortunate. I got lots of other injuries, because the biggest thing there is, but what they don't realise, on the Mahmood situation, is when that front foot lands, you get between five and eight times the amount of difference in load. And if you're already offline with a mixed action, that going through the back is what causes the back injuries. And that's why the biggest common injury in cricket is hamstrings and back. And we're seeing a lot of back injuries at the minute. It's getting a lot of air time and it's going to carry on getting a lot of air time. I've got a meeting on Monday about this fast bowling and back injuries in fast bowlers and the latest research. So I'm looking forward to that and being educated on it because it is an area where we need to improve. Great stuff.